Good morning. This is Lara and Good News Ministry. Early on a Sunday morning in New York City, I was just taking a walk to meet a loved one who was in town. And I was walking down the street and I was thinking, wow, my faith is so strong. And I was thinking, my faith is not in myself. My faith is not in human beings today, this very morning. My faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ stronger than ever. And I, I, that's just for me is amazing because I just, as much as I have professed to love Jesus for a long time now, my faith has just felt so weak so much of the time. And then a scripture came to me in a message and so I pulled over, so to speak, not that I'm driving, but I was walking. I pulled over to the side of the, the sidewalk and uh, you can hear the cars and see the cars in the background. And the scripture that came to me, and I'm not an expert in quoting, so please look it up. It's in the beginning of the book of James. But essentially it says that count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the trying of your faith work is patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And it came to me that the reason my faith is so strong is, well, it's really twofold. One is the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And some years ago, I made a commitment, no matter what, to read the Bible every day and to learn how to apply it to my life, to live by it. And second is because I've been through a lot of big trials through the years. In fact, I'm going through a trial right now. And this scripture tells me that I am first of all to be joyful in my trials and I'm the first to admit to you that I have not always been joyful. In fact, I've probably been rarely joyful in the midst of my trials and that's something I need to work on. But what I didn't see at the time, even though this scripture showed it to me, is that the Lord is working in the midst of our trials when we have yielded our hearts and lives to Him, when we have put our trust and our faith and our hope and our confidence in Him we're learning to do that I should say when we're yielded to him and surrendered to him and we've decided to live for him to follow him and so I didn't see that God was really really working through the years through the trials the tribulations you know Jesus did not promise us a life without tribulations in fact he said in this world you will have tribulations but be of good cheer for I have overcome the world and uh, that is a really important promise right there. He doesn't promise that we won't have trials, tribulations. He promises that we will, but that he's overcome the world. And my friend, when we turn to the lifestyle of sin, we believe that he is Lord, that he died on the cross and was raised from the dead. When we turn from our sins and turn to God and his ways, as he teaches us in the Bible, we are born again spiritually. We are given a fresh start and a clean slate. And we learn day by day how to live for Jesus, led by the Spirit of God who lives inside of his followers according to the Word of God and no longer according to the world's ways. And in that lifelong journey that we have on this earth, yes, we get to work, excuse me, to look forward to forever and ever and ever with Jesus. Because when we're born again, we seek the Lord's forgiveness, we receive his forgiveness, and we're promised an everlasting relationship with him. But along the way of this lifelong journey on this earth, we will have our tribulations and our trials. And how amazing is it to see that God will work in the midst of them. He is working in the midst of them. But for me, I don't know, I felt so overwhelmed by the trials I've been through at times that I couldn't see Jesus working. And here I am now this very morning walking down the streets thinking, wow, my faith is stronger and I've got this joy even in the midst of yet another trial. And I am just so thankful and thankful to be able to share this message with you. Please do not lose hope. Have hope. You may have never had hope. Put your trust in Christ as Lord. Follow Christ as Lord and know that when you are yielded to him in the midst of your trials that he is doing a work and we need to be patient and trust that he's doing that work. Thank you so much for listening. Please visit me and Good News Ministry online at goodnews.love. This is Lara reporting from the streets of New York City. Lara and Good News Ministry. And again, the website is goodnews.love. Take care and thank you so much. Bye-bye.